Hi friends, it's me, Simply Sherry. I give you weekly tips and tools for organizing, prepping, and travel. I'm actually here in Vegas. My husband has a work conference and I tagged along. I did a separate video for the hotel room tour and how I packed a carry-on for five days. But today I'm gonna to show you a prepping video. It's actually a follow-up to the video that I did. I'll put in the iCards above of the number 10 cans that I bought from Augustin Farms on Amazon and I showed that stockpile in a separate video. I also have another video showing how I've started to organize my long-term pantry or my prepper pantry. So that's a series, I'll put the I cards above here too. And uh, let me show you um, online how I've planned and purchased the Augustin Farms number 10 cans. The first thing that you need to do is to go to Amazon Prime and create an account. Uh, that should be easy enough, so amazon.com create an account and then if you go here to account and lists um, you will see memberships and subscriptions and you'll see the Amazon your Amazon Prime account if you don't have if you're not yet an Amazon Prime member I do have a link I'll put in the description box below so I just wanted to show you the prices right now um, obviously it's gone up every year if not every couple years Right now it's 119 next year i see that it's going to go up to 139 which comes out to about uh 12 dollars a month versus 15. let's look at that let's see so 139.99 divided by 12 yeah 11.66 a month oh no 139 139 divided by 12. 11.58 a month versus $14.99. So the annual does come out better. All right, then you go here to this down arrow where it says accounts and lists, and you go here to the left, the middle column, create a list. And so when you do that, example, you put uh, Augustin Farms um, or whatever long, term food storage, uh, prepper pantry, you know, something like that. So I've already created a list and it's specifically for August and farms. And so next you start adding to your list. Okay. Um, so you go into Amazon and then I type in August and farms. All right. So it comes up and it's pretty popular, like look, 6,200 um, reviews, 3,649, almost 5,000 reviews. And they've really uh, stepped up their game on their page. They've really made it easy to search around. All right, peanut butter powder, for example, yes, I want peanut butter powder. Yes, I want buttermilk. So I go here, let's just do the peanut butter should have that and then by the way it shows you when you last purchased it you could check your order how much it was then so here you go to the right and you click add to list the down arrow and then your list will show up august and farms so i add to it you can keep shopping like then they'll give you some suggestions so like the peas the carrots the pails you could do this arrow here to see more and they'll also suggest another brand like this one, Nutrastore. So now I want to go see my list. Okay, so you see it's been added, but I've already added this. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete it so my page will stay clean. You can see what it's like. And then what I've done is that I've put my list here, the same order that I have them in my long-term pantry. So my long-term pantry goes from left to right. This list goes from top to bottom. Okay, and those are super cans and you can see like they're yellow. And let me click on here and show you. See, it'll say super can here. Okay, and then the next category is meats and proteins. And I'll put a link above to my um, haul, my stockpile haul of the Augustin Farms number 10 cans in the iCards above. 
And so it's got this kind of mustard yellow color and then the icon is the meat. Okay, next category is soups and entrees. See, now it's blue. Okay, it's got this little like pot. And then I won't go through each one. Um, let's see, oh. Okay, so sometimes this list, so this there's a little glitch in this list, by the way. Sometimes, like you saw, I did the, the meats and then I scrolled and all of a sudden the meats are there again. Just refresh it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Next is uh, vegetables, purple, and it's got a carrot, fruits, uh, like a lime green, and it's got a strawberry. I know it might be hard to read uh, see from here, but you could click in and see the different icons and colors. Baking is next. Uh, oh, I meant grains. All right. And that's got this icon in brown. And then baking is like a pink with a muffin or a cupcake. Dairy and eggs. Um, there and so I think it's a milk carton. This for me is kind of like a purplish. And then beverages, which is a blue with uh, like a drop of water. And then along with the beverages is the milk. So the milk is, you know, white, white, white. Then I have the pails, which I'm not sure if I'm going to get those because I do have the buck, five gallon buckets um, with the lids. Uh, okay, next, what I do is once I add it to the list, let's just go up here. Just make it easier for these example super cans. What you need to do now is to go over here, edit, comment, quantity, and priority. So you just click that, and you can make it a priority lowest, low, medium, high, highest. I just keep it at medium because I'm just pacing myself. Um, and But you could get more detail and say, you know what, I really need to take care of meats and proteins first, and you could put that highest. And then Lois, whatever, example, maybe carrots, okay? So I always put, I plan to get one each. Uh, so I always put two. Then once you buy it, you put one. Because if you just put one, and then once you buy it, Amazon will automatically take this off of your list. But I want to keep it in my list because I want to see what I have bought and to keep the history of what the prices were. So example here. I put in needs two because once I bought, I go back here and I put one and then I put the date, May 20, 2022. It was $23.87. I bought it. So here, look, the price went down. And what it says is the price has dropped 25%. So for me, go ahead and buy this, right? Um, and then it even has a note. Most of the time, sometimes it it's not working, but twenty three eighty seven when it was added to the list. So perfect. So I've just recently done super cans. So I go here because sometimes the seventeen eighty is a little bit uh, misleading because sometimes it doesn't show the shipping cost. Okay. Oh, there's suspenseful music playing. All right. Okay, and then look, there's actually not. Oh, here, yes, here it goes. 1780 free with prime delivery perfect so that's why uh it's for me the reason why i put a list when i discovered it i didn't discover that you could do lists on amazon until spring of 2021 so but i had gone i went back and i looked at the purchases i had before that time and like let's say in 2020 and i went ahead and put what the prices were when i bought it but everything that I bought, I just go ahead and put bought uh, only because it's just still another visual clue for me that I bought it. Oh, let's look at this one. Price dropped 49%. Whoa. Okay, so it was thirty six fifty when I added it to the list. So here I put that date, 4-21-2022. On 4 you see six days later, 1918, I bought it. Because I saw the price, thirty six fifty. it dropped. But look, it dropped a little bit more, like another 
what, 18 plus 50, uh, what's that, 68, 67 cents, okay? Um, so let's check here that it's prime and that it includes shipping. Yes, look at that, another good buy. So that's where it gets, it's good to track it because then you have a clue, like you have your clues of what went down, what didn't go down, okay? So look at this. Uh, on the same day, May uh, April 21, $32.99, I bought it on May 20th when it became $19.40. So the price had dropped. And then here, if you were not tracking this, you would think, oh, the price dropped 30%. That's great. It was $32.99. Now it's $23. Yes, it's like $10. Why not buy it? But you see, I had gotten it for even less than that, another $4 less, almost $4 less. So let's see. What, uh, if it includes shipping? Yes. So, <clears throat> uh, let's go to another category so you can see. So once you add it to the list, it's going to go to the bottom and, um, example here, you go all the way here and then it will say, you go to the left here and you send it all the way to the top or you could press this down and move it up or down okay and so i just like to rearrange it in the categories and group them together it's just easier to follow so as of now i have about 50 i have 50 cans that's about two cans per month in the last two years some months i've bought several then there's months where i didn't buy at all and that's because things came up, you know, extra expenses, uh, some emergencies. And but you could see after two years, I had zero in the beginning. Now I have 50 and I'll be getting my um, 72 total cans because that's what fits in my pantry for now until I find a different space. OK, then I wanted to show you I also have an Excel spreadsheet. OK. And this is, uh, I just titled it August in Farms number 10 cans. And I've even color coded it to what the color is on the can. And you could see the dates that I bought it starting August 26, I mean August, July 26 of 2020, which basically is two years ago. Here is the price, the tax, here's the total. So I have a running, this is my inventory. So not just looking at it in my uh, prepper pantry, but I see it here on this spreadsheet and um, I can um, know what to add more, know what I have. And so my original budget was 25 per month for 24 months, right? And so obviously it's taken, it's going to probably take me another six months to get the remaining 22 or maybe another year. So I'm giving myself a year. So that's the original budget. Um, this is, uh, this is what I've spent 11, 53, 12. This is the remaining. This has been the average per month, $96 a month. So $100 a month. Um, of course th the good thing you see is that they do put on sale. Some prices are actually cheaper than what I bought in 2020. Some are definitely higher. Okay, the average per can comes out to $23. And that's only because I'd say it would be a little bit higher because some of the meats I haven't bought yet because they're just like really too much for my budget right now. But I'm following it. I've been following it for a few months, actually. Uh, these are the number of cans I have remaining because my goal here is nine categories times eight cans equals 72 cans. So I have 22 cans remaining. And the average per can is $83.95. So I know I'm going to be able to get some of the meats and the other stuff. So I know I'm going to be within budget. So that's another thing. You plan it. You just you just know um, you're working towards um, filling up your pantry with these types of long-term foods. And um, it's part of the your overall plan for preparing. So these are the lessons I've learned. Three lessons mainly is that one, you have to decide that you will have long-term preps. 
okay, and what they will be. So for me, I decided after researching, yes, you know what, I'm going to have freeze dried foods. Right now I can't do a freeze dryer. Uh, I started my gardening, I'm learning to can, I've done some other types of canning. I have all of, obviously my canned foods, I've created prepper pantry. So I have this overall plan. Within that plan, I knew I wanted freeze dried foods. So decide what you will have for long term preps and what they will be. Then determine your budget, whether it's monthly, yearly, how much, how long are you willing to take? So for me, I was willing to take two years and you see like it's going to take two and a half, maybe three. But you know what? It's better than zero starting two years ago. And if it would have been zero now. At least I have something, and I think I have a I have a good a good amount. It's I'm really happy with it. Um, and then number three is you have to create a system or a process on how to get your preps. So that's why I chose Amazon. I chose August and Farms. I I just I found out how to first. I used to have it on a piece of paper. I was tracking the prices on a piece of paper. Then I found this list making thing. And you can edit the comments. You can actually move it to a different list, by the way. <clears throat> so if at first you're not ready to do all the little bit of work to do this list, you can just add to your wish list, add to your wish list. And then when you're ready to get more into the details of, let's say, an August and Farms list, then you can move it over. All right, so basically you have to create that system or process because you just don't wake up on Thursday morning thinking, oh, let me go grab some stuff. Uh, how much do I have? Um, I, at least for me, it's harder to work that way because there's so many things that I want to have. Aside from prepping, other things like my son was in college. In the um, my, my daughter's going to college now. We had some em emergencies in our home and you know, just things come up. And so planning is, is good. And then it just helped me focus and see like, okay, this is, I choose to put uh, the hard earned money towards this into preparing for my family. I hope you enjoyed this video of me showing you how I have planned and purchased number 10 cans of Augustine Farms on Amazon Prime and you can see that it took two years so far with the stockpile that I have. I hope you got some tips. Uh, let me know in the comments below how you've planned and prepared or even purchased number 10 cans and I will see you in the next one. Bye!